Kosari presents, why can't I divide by zero? The real reason. So when I write 15 divided by five equals box, what I mean is five times box is equal to 15. I'm gonna call that equation ice cream cone. And I want to know what goes in the box. In ice cream cone, we can see in this case, three is what goes in the box, and so 15 divided by five equals three. There's one and only one number that goes in the box, and in this case, it's a three. In general, A divided by B equals C means that there exists a unique number C such that B times C equals A. And I'm gonna call this equation here cherry. And what I have above is the definition of division. So this is the formal mathematical definition of division. And we can see the C here is what we normally think of as the answer to the division problem. In this case, the division problem is A divided by B. And we notice that C appears here being quantified, and then it appears down here again in the equation cherry. The quantifiers, there are two different types here. There's a there exist, and the there exist means that there is at least one number C. And the second quantifier we have is that C is unique. So there's exactly one C. Those two quantifiers are going to be the reason why we can't divide by zero. So what if we could divide by zero? Then we would have something of the form a divided by zero equals box. And notice this is the same equation that we have on the right with b equals zero. And so by our definition, zero times box equals a. So that's the cherry equation with b equals zero. And the question we're trying to answer is what goes in the box? Since zero times box is equal to zero always, it doesn't matter what we put in the box in that equation, it'll always be true. Then if a is not equal to zero, there's no number for what goes in the box. And the problem with this is it contradicts our requirement that there exists some number C that goes in the box. On the other hand, if A is equal to zero, then there are many numbers for what could go in the box. And this contradicts our requirement that the number C is unique. And so in this case, zero divided by zero is undefined because it could have many different answers. And so that's why you can't divide by zero.